Welcome to Car Coach Reports. This is 4 Minute Friday, week ending April 20th, 2018. I'm here in Dallas, Texas. This is what's going on in your automotive world. Happy birthday to an iconic car, octane readings, some interesting road stats, and Nico wafers? Stay right with us. Let's put four minutes on the clock. Number one, happy birthday to an iconic car. April 17th, 1964, the Mustang was launched at the World's Fair. Yes, that beautiful Mustang that today is more than just a secretary's car, which is what they called it originally. Check out this video, give you a little feeling about the passion we all have for the Ford Mustang. Number two, octane readings. Typically when you go to the fuel pump, you'll see 87, 89, 91, maybe 93. It all depends on what you're pumping into your vehicle. But it causes some confusion and people always don't want to run the wrong fuel because it can actually void your warranty. So auto manufacturers are talking about changing the octane rating to 95. Now that may not mean much to you without getting into the details of what octane is. And I've got articles about that on my website at Car Coach Reports. What I'd like you to do is just look at what this really means to you and the vehicles on the road. It might cost you about five cents more a gallon because of the cost to refine this type of fuel. But it means one type of gas, which means less pumps, which means it'll be less expensive for them to manufacture three different grades of fuel, sometimes four. So this is something that manufacturers are on board with and the American petroleum industry is talking about this now. You're gonna start seeing this coming out in the future. It should give you better fuel economy, which will offset the increase in cost. We shall see, but this is very interesting news. So we'll be able to get more performance and better fuel economy. Number three, AAA has given us some stats about road breakdowns. Older vehicles are typically more prone to breakdown. That's probably common sense. But with 7.7 .7 million people going on the roads this summer, it's best that you take care of your car. I know last month we reminded you it is National Car Care Month. Well, AAA is reminding you, don't be stuck on the side of the road. If you have a AAA card, you probably don't want to be waiting an hour for road service. So try to be proactive with that and don't be a statistic. And number four, Nico wafers. We all know those Nico wafers. Nico wafers. Those little flat, tasteless pieces of candy that you used to get in Halloween trick or treat bags. They also make those little hearts that we see during Valentine's Day. Well, the company's talking about going out of business. Katie Samuels owns a Honda and she would like to trade her 2003 Honda for all of the inventory that is left of Nico wafers. The Nico wafers. Which is making Nico think twice. Because of the panic for Nico wafers, believe it or not, there's apparently a panic. The original owner is talking about buying the company back and keeping Nico wafers alive. If you like that tasteless candy, make sure to let us know because it's really not my favorite. It's the one I always traded to my brother because I just couldn't stand it. It's called Nico. This is what's going on in your automotive world. If you like what we're doing, please share and like that little bell right next to the subscribe button lets you know when we have new videos that come out multiple times a week. Make sure to follow us on all forms of social media. We have a lot of breaking news this week. If you missed it, go and find my Twitter page, go on my website, you'll be surprised including a big new start for Cadillac. You can sign up for our free newsletter at laurenfix.com and check out our Patreon page. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.